have your ePortfolio created and your permissions and share settings the way that you'd like them, it's time to add a couple of new pages to your ePortfolio. In the ePortfolio that I've got here, you'll see that I just have one home page sitting inside my navigation bar up at the top of the screen. Your navigation bar is this white space here, and it sits inside of the header section, which is the dark gray area at the top of my ePortfolio. You'll notice that your header section has a lock icon in the upper right hand corner of it. This means that your header section is locked to prevent any accidental changes. The reason for this is that anything that's in your header section is going to appear on every single page of the portfolio, so you don't want to add anything up here accidentally. However, in order to edit our navigation bar, we need to unlock the header section, so we do that by clicking on the lock icon. And once you do that, if you hover your mouse over the white space in your navigation bar, you'll see that three icons appear over on the right-hand side. In order to add new pages to the navigation bar, we're going to use the pencil icon, which is the top one here. And once you select that, it opens your page settings menu. In order to add new pages, you can just select add new page at the bottom of the screen and then type in a name for your new page. If you ever need to delete a page, you can select the trash can icon over on the right hand side of the screen here. And if you need to reorder pages, click and drag on the line icon to the left of the page name. And if you're creating an ePortfolio that has a lot of pages in it, for example, if you're publishing writing assignments and you need to publish multiple drafts of each assignment, a nice way to organize those pages is to create drop down menus for those drafts of the assignment. So for example, I have a rhetorical analysis here and I need to include a first draft, a second draft, and a final draft of this paper. In order to keep that organized, I'm gonna create a drop-down menu underneath rhetorical analysis to hold each of those pages. In order to create that drop-down menu, you first need to add the pages that you would like to be within the menu, so I'll do that now. And then click and drag on these pages, put them underneath the page that you would like to hold the drop-down menu, and then click and drag the page in just slightly to indent it. This indentation means that this is now going to drop down from underneath rhetorical analysis, and I'm gonna do the same thing for my other two pages. Once you've got your pages organized the way that you'd like them, you can select Save in the lower right-hand corner of the screen to be taken back to your ePortfolio. And you'll see that now, in addition to my home page, I have a page for my rhetorical analysis, for my literature review, and for my reading journal. And if I hover over my rhetorical analysis page, it gives me that drop down menu for my first draft, second draft, and final draft. Once you have your pages added the way that you'd like them to be, the next step is to add content to those pages. And for more on that, you can see the next video in this series. Mm -hmm.